Is that him? Sure is. Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild. This is the Hunter T33 and today, well, I wanted to try and hunt some water holes with a bow and arrow out of this blind, but we've been sitting here for a little while now and we haven't had any luck. So we're gonna go around with the 470 and see if we can find some cape belt holes. So it looks like we just found what could be a diamond potential kudu and he's out here at about 350. That thing is huge. You can see just the size of the horns on him. So we're gonna go for a shot with the 270 and see if we can make it happen. Give ourselves a nice path. And let's get back on this kudu here. That thing's huge. Uh, I don't know what just happened, but we must have hit a little bit high. I think we actually hit far back. I want to see if we can get one of these springbok as well, just so we can check what our harvest value is like. There, that hit him. That should bring him down. And she's down right here. We might have actually hit her twice because she went down really quick. And I think we have some Cape Buffalo nearby. Let's pick her up. We hit her at 300 yards out and we're at 100% integrity. So that's what we want. Well, that wasn't too hard to find. He literally was about 40 yards away from that Springbok. But look at the size of this Kudu. He's huge. I haven't seen one this big since uh, the second. Actually, no, I think this is as big as my first Diamond Kudu. Look at the size of the curl on this thing. He might break 960s, even though we didn't hit him that good, so he ran a little ways. I'm actually thinking we might have hit intestine on that. Let's go prone here and take a better look at him. Yeah, that's a giant. That is a giant. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's go with that. Take one more picture without the icon in the background. And we should have ourselves a diamond coup. Diamond! That was a 320 yard, looks like liver, stomach, left lung shot. Total score of 953 because we didn't hit him the greatest. Uh, we actually centered him pretty decent, but I didn't realize that it would drop so much. I thought we were going to hit spine possibly and maybe even miss it, but it looks like it dropped almost three or four inches. Even though I reserved him for 320, it dropped about three inches at that distance. He scores 32.2 and a total score of 953. A giant diamond kudu. I knew he was diamond all day long as soon as I saw the size of those horns. What an awesome kudu. So that's usually how it goes. You're after one animal and you find something else that you're completely unexpecting. We're trying to find some Cape Buffalo and we spotted a giant diamond kudu. And right after that, we actually just had some calls from some Cape Buffalo right behind us. So we're going to go back here and see if we can't find them. So we just got down to this other water hole over here on the north end of the map. And we have a couple of Cape Buffalo over here. It looks like there's a six hard there. And there's a couple of Cape Buffalo right here. There is another six hard and a seven very hard right in there. But we're going to have to try and get over here and see if we can get in position to take a shot. Uh, maybe a couple of these nice Cape Buffalo. So we're about 50 yards away from this Cape Buffalo. We're getting turned! That was actually a female. And she is hit pretty good that time as well. We need to reload really quick somehow. Okay, that one's down and we're getting attacked. And we dropped that one. Let's pick this one up really quick. That was a 117 score. We actually hit it twice. So we lost our integrity, but that's all right. We are still alive and that's what's important. Let's go over here and go grab this one now. I never actually saw the seven very hard. What happened is one of the Cape Buffalo caught wind of us and decided to start heading our way and basically led the herd right to us and we never got a chance to see them. But let's pick this female up. We got two hits on her. Got skull and jaw the first time as she was coming at us. And then we got shoulder blade, right lung, and left lung. So double lung shot the second time at 17 yards out. So we just got to the other side of the water hole and I think I just found what could be the same Cape Buffalo I saw yesterday. This is an eight mythical and it's a red color. Very cool looking Cape Buffalo. I saw one the other day as I came out here and put out some uh, ground blinds. If you look over here, there's a ground blind over by this water hole and a tent there and then there's another ground blind over here and a tent here but I saw this Cape Buffalo I believe um, pretty much like right here somewhere in between this water hole and this one 
I noticed him here and I didn't have anything on me to take the shot. So at this point, we're just gonna have to shift down to the edge of this water hole here and see if we can't sneak around the edge to get a shot on this mythical. All right, so we have a little bit of cover here. I don't know if he's gonna step out or if he's gonna go back to the water hole. I guess this is what he's gonna do. He's gonna come right towards us and he might go to the water hole. We have a decent wind, so he can't see us. Oh, don't turn. Well, we went for a spine lung shot, and I don't think we hit anything, really. Flesh hit. Okay, then. So we lost eyes on the mythical, but we have a cape buffalo here at about 150. Let's see if we can zoom in for 160 here and take a shot. Alright, I believe we have two hits into that one. Question is, will it bring it down? Flesh? 75%. Oh, might as well try and help it out a little bit and see if we can bring him down faster. As you can see, that was a flesh hit. And another flesh hit. But two flesh hits should bring down this Cape Buffalo with the 470, at least I would hope so. Plus, I know we definitely hit at least one more time with the 270. Right here. And maybe even again here. It was seriously still running, and we just hit it again. That was a long ways out there, actually. Pretty impressed with that shot. And I think it just went down. Let's pick this one up. Wow, look how many times we hit that thing. That was 136 yards out. And are you kidding me? Okay, why would they have a gun that zeroes in for 160 yards when it can't even penetrate through a broadside buffalo when you hit dead center in the middle of the lung? And then the second shot, we got 156. We got pelvis on that. And that should have actually been a running spine shot, but that was a 270, but still. So we just got eyes on our mythical. He's right there at 229 yards out. I'm glad we found him again. You can see the percentage is at 25 to 50% health. It's an awesome Cape Buffalo, but we already messed up the chance of him being a gold. So now we're just gonna try and get closer to him and see if we can't finish him off. There he is. All right, definitely got a good hit into him. Another big one. Okay, finally our mythical's down. That was an eight mythical as well. But finally we have this mythical down in a really cool position as well. That's pretty awesome. Again, I don't know why that first shot missed, but I tell you what, we're gonna find out really shortly as soon as we take a look at him and pick him up. But first I wanna take a really cool trophy shot of him. All right, well, let's pick him up now. So he scores 143. Holy, that thing was a giant. That probably would have been, let's see, he probably would have been close to a 930, 920 or 930. Yeah, that was a that was a beast of a Cape Buffalo. Total score of 580, only because we didn't hit him very good the first time. 35 yards out, let's find out where we hit him, and are you absolutely kidding me? How did it not penetrate through a 470 Nitro straight to the spine at 35 yards out? You can see that, plain as day. It didn't hit the horn, it didn't hit anything. It literally went straight to the spine and hit nothing. It, it just completely ricocheted off of it, I don't know. If it thought it was throwing an addle addle out of that 470 or what was going on. But yeah, that should have been a perfect drop shot. And a giant 8 mythical Cape Buffalo should have been down. And holy, there's one right on top of us. The second shot right now, we just made a double lung shoulder blade shot. So how can it penetrate all the way through both lungs and through the shoulder blade, but it can't even penetrate through the spine at the same distance? Is that him? Sure is. 
Uh, okay, what are the ethics or the logics in this game? How can you get a perfect drop shot at further than that spine shot that was 30? I guarantee that was probably 45 yards right there. Is that him? 60. 60 yards and we got a perfect drop shot. But yeah, you can't drop one at 30 yards straight to the spine. Well, at least we're going to get a gold mythical here now. 140 gold. Okay, finally. Okay, so if this one scored 140, the other one scored 143. It probably would have been like a 920s Cape Buffalo. Oh, okay, so we made a heart shot. Well, I guess I can sort of see, but not really. I still don't understand why we couldn't get spine at 30 yards. But yeah, you can penetrate through the brisket and hit the lung and the heart at 60 yards out. But at least we got another Cape Buffalo with the 470. So we just snuck up to a whole herd of Cape Buffalo. They're right here behind this tree. There's about five or six of them. Two are seven very hard, and there's one mythical in there as well. That might be one there. Yep. Hit too high. That should have been a spine shot, though. Come on. Oh, there it goes. Got him. And what did we get? A whole lot of nothing. And what did we get there? Nothing. And then we got a double lung heart shot as it was charging at us. So we just found another red cape buffalo. I don't know what it is or where it came from, but I just noticed it right there another eight mythical which is really cool and we might actually get a chance to get a gold mythical a gold red mythical with the 470 this time without hitting spine but i really don't know where to aim i mean where are we supposed to aim i guess heart shot but that's not that easy to make happen if you want that's about how far we took that last shot Right there. Well, here goes nothing. Yeah, didn't happen. Oh, we definitely got lung though. I'll take it. Fifty percent, and he's down right here. So he went probably sixty yards, and we might have ourselves a gold mythical. Actually, a pretty good position as well. Besides the fact that he's buried underneath all these trees here. Let's pick him up. He scores 141, total score of 871. He was a gold mythical. And we ended up getting a right lung, left lung hit on him. So we did get double lung. Looks like we're a little bit too high of the heart, but still got double lung at 50 yards out. So. I don't know. I guess sometimes you get lucky, sometimes you don't. I don't really think there's any anything in between that. It's just either you get lucky and get good penetration or you don't, which is not right. Because the bow, you get awesome penetration every single time you take a shot with the 600 grain arrows. No matter what, that thing is buried all the way to the knock almost every single shot I take. But yet, with the 470, sometimes you get flesh, sometimes you get double lung, sometimes you get heart. You just don't know. Well, I think that's still going to be a pretty way to end this video. We ended up getting three mythicals out of that. Two were red and one was a black one. We got two gold mythicals, but the other red one didn't quite count. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Let's go with that and let's pick him up. Oh my god! A 210 scoring diamond white tail buck. I can't believe he was that big.